Pink stream. How are you doing? Oh, let's get started. Resignation is the key to happiness. Grace is the door to peace beyond the mind. Resignation is the key to happiness. Grace is the door to peace beyond the mind. That was Rumi. May I seek to understand rather than to be understood. Prayer of St. Francis. So I was talking to a friend um, the other day who was uh, very red, watches Fox News, and has obviously regurgitates the same things that they say. And I don't understand why they, they do this and they do that. And um, you know, I said, well, I know, <laughs> clearly, um, it doesn't make sense to you because of your experience and your background um, and your perspective is from those things. You can't understand where they're coming from because you don't have their experience and their background, uh, nor do you try to understand. And that's, that's our problem, is that we don't seek to understand. And I think if we did, if we all did, the world, the world would be heaven. The world would be heaven. So let's work on that, because we could get there. Faith is trust without evidence. Oh, huh, cool. Asara, love, joy. The one, I guess the book is called The One Command. Faith is trust without evidence. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I have faith. I have faith, because I feel better. Why wouldn't I do that? Do not judge, or you too will be judged. For in the same way you judge others, you will be judged. And with the same measure you use, it will be measured to you. Matthew 7, 1 to 2. Um, thank so I said in another, a um, couple days ago, that I, you know, judge others, but I, I judge myself by the same standard. And um, what's interesting is that over the years, as I've had different experiences, you know, I've done things that I would have judged myself for. And, you know, of course I did judge myself, but at the same time, then I was like, oh, wait a second. Now I understand. Now I understand the perspective of someone who might do this thing that I used to judge. And, um, and now I don't judge, which is cool, I think. Yeah, I, I, it's cool for me. Thank God every morning when you get up that you have something to do that day which must be done, whether you like it or not. Charles Kingsley. Okay. So, in everything, do to others what you would have them do to you, for this sums up the law and the prophets. Matthew 7, 12. Yeah, that could just be the whole Bible, right? And Or anything, right? That should just be like, boom, here's, here's what you do. That's the one thing Jesus said, like, this is the thing. If you're not following this thing, you're not following me. You're doing it wrong. So use that. I mean, you want to judge? Use that as the thing to judge yourself on. Forget other people. Yourself. Do not give dogs what is sacred. Do not throw your pearls to pigs. If you do, they may trample them under their feet and then turn the tear, turn and tear you to pieces. Dogs and pigs were a lot different then. Matthew 7, 6. That's awful. Ask and it will be given to you. Seek and you will find. Knock and the door will be opened to you. For everyone who asks receives. He who seeks finds. And to him who knocks, the door will be opened. Matthew 7, 7 to 8. Enter through the narrow gate. For wide is the gate and broad is the road that leads to destruction. And many enter through it. Mm -hmm. But small is the gate and narrow is the road that leads to life. And only a few find it. Matthew 7, 13, 14. The road less traveled. Difficult. It's a difficult road. It's difficult to travel the road that no one else does, right? Because it's not maintained. It could be seems scary and dangerous. That's so much more fun. We are commanded to love God with all our minds 
as well as with all our hearts, and we commit a great sin if we forbid to or prevent that cultivation of the mind in others which would enable them to perform this duty. I mean, who does that? I mean, maybe some people. Angelina Grimke, G-R-I-M-K-E. I mean, some governments in the past have. That, that's not good. But, you know, I'm not going to say, like, uh, I mean, loving God with all your mind and heart is one thing, but... You know, I'm not going to say religions are great. Because religions have done a lot of bad in this world. Extremism of any form is not good. So love your neighbor, basically. Don't judge. And I'm going to go out and celebrate. Woohoo! <laughs> oh, I lost my page. All right. Have a good night. Peace out.